Hi, in the last few sessions, we had little understanding about the protocol mappings with the open RAN units. Now we are introducing concept of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning in the open RAN systems. Such labels of intelligent systems and controllers was not available with the traditional RAN systems. But with the engagement of AI and machine learning, these intelligent controllers and radio access networks gets evolved and become more efficient. We will start from the absolute basics and gradually increase the labels so that you can start from the label which suits you best. We will start from the basics of machine learning. We will talk about different concepts of machine learning like supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, reinforcement learning. We will talk about the machine learning models and the training of machine learning models so that these models can be utilized in the open RAN systems. We will talk about the real-time RIC, radio intelligent controllers and non-real-time RIC, how these units can optimize the open radio access networks and improve the efficiency of the network with the help of machine learning models and third-party solution. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is one of the most important part of bigger umbrella known as artificial intelligence. Machine learning is the concept where machines can automatically learn from the data and the past experiences. They use the data to identify the patterns and based on that, they are able to make predictions. These patterns and logics are not hard coded in the softwares, but the machines develop them automatically by analyzing the patterns in the input data and by their past experiences. We needed machine learning concept to handle any new situation that arrives. The existing software models are good enough to handle the predefined situations with the pre-programmed logics, but they are not efficient in handling of the new environment or condition. To improve that situations, we humans are needed to change the existing codes of softwares or functions. But machine learning models are able to predict better solutions on those situations. That too without direct human interventions, based on the prediction models from the training datasets and previous good or bad experiences. Let's understand it with the example. Suppose you have been asked to develop a system which can tune the network for the throughput based on the signal quality. So you will need a lot of data related to the throughput and the quality of signals. This training data is generally called as training data set. Once this training data set is fed into the machine learning model, then the model will develop some patterns between the signal quality and throughput and machine will create the relation between the signal quality and the throughput. And it will know that how the signal quality can affect the data throughput. So once this machine learning model is developed, who actually knows that how the throughput is affected by the signal quality, then this model can be used in any RAN system to predict that what would be the possible throughput for any specific signal quality. This is just a one function and this is a very simple idea. However, as a network engineer, you know that throughput is not only depends on one factor, so other factors are also equally important. This means we needed a more complex machine learning model which would be able to handle different factors. These factors are called functions. One machine learning model can have one, two or three and up to n number of functions. Now, because all the patterns are being developed by the machine learning algorithm based on the training data set, so this is very important to have the good data set for the training. If the training data set is bad or not enough, then the machine learning model will not function correctly. Like the example of garbage input and garbage output. In the next session, we will have some overview of different type of machine learning models so that you can know that what type of model will be needing for any specific job in intelligent system development. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.